My friends, welcome back. We are playing the Commonwealth of Man, and I'm Daily Fix. So our our friend, our ally, has uh, has got in himself into a war. In all honesty, I doubt he is going to need my help, and I really don't feel like helping him too much unless he is starting to lose a lot of territory. If that is the case, I will beeline a fleet into this direction and just assist him because if we take down uh, say the united nations of earth then these fellas um, will also lose a very tiny ally which is amazing which is really really good for us so I'm happy about that, I am. So let us continue while we're still building up our stations, while we are preparing ourselves to get our, a new fleet going, uh, because that is something that we are actually very much um, in need for. So we could go to uh, fleet management. We already have something set up here, which I, I kind of usually do, like, yeah, just corvettes, destroyers, cruisers, and then just go battleships. And eventually, once we get battleships, I'll probably make a fleet with battleships and destroyers. Or uh, battleships and corvettes, because corvettes are really fast. And they will make it so the, uh, the battleships are not target as often. Because they will target one that is nearest to them. And that will usually be the corvettes. So that will save you. Yes, a lot. So, 12,000 alloys is what we are needing. Um, resources are going up because we just got an additional 10% on our mining. Um, exotic gas refinery. Uh, both of these is, uh, is something that I would really like. Both of these. Uh, especially these because we can actually upgrade the weapons on... Our ships with these crystals and perhaps we should really look into um, a refinery planet uh, let's go with the specialist output that will uh, definitely improve something uh, still waiting for the first one it's now 40 will it definitely will it change 40 13 come on Ah, there you go. It, it, it got up something. It got up something. Well, all bits help. All bits help. So, let's just continue with that. Um, you. You are lacking a record. You need a job. Mm, I kind of would really... This would be such a nice planet to do so much instead of just wasting it on these districts. But what can I do? What can I do? Our energy is too low. We want to boost that up. Eventually, we need to break some of these alliances because we are um, kind of in a bad shape in terms of our influence. Look at this. What kind of ships are you using? Oh, look at this. Look at they actually have the crystals, those bastards, and that's why they can use tech force. Uh, but they're still using destroyers and corvettes as well. Point defense, so still missiles. It is is actually mm, it usually usually in the past missiles was the way to go. Missiles was the thing you needed the most. You you would give your empire for crystals or for missiles because they would win you the war. Three uh, K against a station with yeah, that doesn't look too good for them. No, oh, it doesn't look too good for them. They will probably they they will lose this station, which is is. Um, did they just lose this? What what are you, what kind of ships are you running? So you have cruisers. Well, you're not using missiles, so you should be winning. It is fine. Look at the United Nations of Earth. Actually, if they would just get a bit tiny, I could definitely go to war with them. Although they have a defensive pack with these guys. I'm quite surprised they did not enter the war. What happens is these these guys over here, the leagues, they declared war on them, and they had defensive packs. Actually, it's the other way around. They declared on them, and they had a defensive pack. That's what happened. These guys have a defensive pack, but they don't have a defensive pack with them. This is this is nice. This is really nice. I still really don't feel like attacking those guys. What we 
perhaps could do is see if um, some science is released. Though I don't think that is going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, they're already pulling back. Which is fine. Yeah, the skirmish is going to end soon. Uh, I, I believe the United Nations of Earth is a goner. And there's already ships coming in from the sides. These guys are just making it... That's becoming so interesting as an ally. Look at this guy. Look, look at this go. It's not even as much. Like, they, they have all of their fleets over there. So they are able to travel this portion of space. Hmm. If I were declaring right now, they would be helped by these guys who are pathetic and don't, I don't fear them. And we probably could go all the way there and peace out. On, but the one thing is, we would be having a war every five or seven years until we actually chew these guys down. And like I said, our influence is not high enough right now to claim all that I would like. So we're, we're going to be saving, we're going to be saving up and we're going to be working on uh, on this new fleet. Every ship is just going to be counting, although we can only use 10, we need 178. Mm. No, you don't need to do anything, you're Bastion, Bastion, anchoring, you're still building up. I think we might need to... Upgrade these fellas. Let's upgrade you. And we definitely want to upgrade this Bastion as well. I don't know why they're ascending their fleets back. Why are you not attacking? I don't get that. Oh well, it's their war, not us. We're, like I said, we're not going to be... Um, getting into their problems just so soon because it will just hurt my economy and look they're friends and all but we don't want them to ruin our economy that would be so bad one more population to a new slot we have a lot of these um of amenities already 13 trade value is quite nice but i'm starting to doubt this building Because we could also make alloy, so we could make research, we could make so, so much more. Let's build a city district, we have a clerk job in there, that will um, surely make him happy. How about you? Four, we're lacking amenities. Mm, this will provide you with two, that is not enough. So let's go with the gene clinics. Consumer goods for population growth speed. And it has an upkeep of 2, which is not bad at all. Let's do it. That will also uh, get the stability up. Yeah, let's go. And still saving up. We're saving up and hopefully alloy prices are going down. Uh, it doesn't look like it though. Does not look like it. And we could actually sell a good chunk of this stuff. We could also buy rare crystals. The one thing is, as soon as you're starting to make we like ships with weapons and, and stuff that you usually don't have, um, it it will cost you, and you will need to buy like in bulk or buy every month, and, and the prices will just go insanely high. Why are you not attacking? I feel that we need to start helping out. Let's send them over there. It will take them a year to get there. If we are declared war upon, I'm screwed. Is uh, it, are the, the armies following? It does appear to be so. I'm happy about that. Look at this fleet. It's getting so nice. It is starting to look so nice. Okay, so this, this is definitely going to be the next base to upgrade, the Bastion, because I'm thinking some of these might 
just um, find their way into our territory and we don't want that. We need to take out Sol and these guys, I don't know what the, what the hell they're doing. Look at this, they're over here. Where are you going? Are you... What are you... Where the hell are you going? Kapara? We'll have to look that up. Kapra. Why? Are you going to upgrade? What is your deal? What are you trying to do? What is over here that is so interesting to you? I don't get it. Let's turn off the uh, the following. They're really not... I don't know what they're doing. I really don't. But um, if this keeps up, they will lose the war. Uh, this colony has workers. Go up, build food. They're not that scary. And these guys, they uh, they offered to help, but they are not moving. I kind of feel that like we need to beeline into this direction and just take this out. And then they will turn around and we'll have to free everything. Oh, that's going to be such an ugly job. Um, lost to bureaucracy. Um, wow. We must investigate this. That was uh, quite expensive. I don't like it. Like I said, we're going to upgrade this star base. So, we're getting in here. We're going right over there. And they're going to be doing the same. Like, divide and conquer. That's probably going to be our goal. We need to push them back. Uh, but taking out these fellas will help our war just as much as there. Uh, we could take point... Maybe some of the fleets will actually follow us. That would be, um, well, better for us because we would lose less. Uh, let's build up on alloys. We don't have the claims anymore. That's a bit of a shame, though. Oh, well, what can you do? Yeah, we don't care about you, buddy. Hmm, kind of wish my alloy production was better. Yeah, just beelining over here. We're taking this dam out. We're going to take this entire thing out. And what we can do is beeline to the capital, take it over, and just wreak havoc over here. It's great that they have their fleets in this area. I'd rather have them have their fleets in this area than in their own territory. That's way better for us. So is there a planet in here that we need to conquer? There is not a planet. Which is weird because it does have the planetary icon. Where is that planet? Hmm. Maybe it's just due to the war. Yeah, they're claiming it. Like I said, it needs this X at the back to, uh, to take it over completely. I can't show you an example on where it, it hasn't gotten there. How is this fight going? Well, not too good. Wow, that is horrible. Construction complete. So, we're taking this one out and... I'm thinking just going right. And taking this entire triangle. They, they will force their... They have to force their fleets back. It does end up putting me inside a rock and a nutshell. I don't like it. Monthly unity plus five, which is amazing. 
Naval Cap, Leader Cost Society. Let's go for the Naval Cap. Now there is one thing that could change and that has to do with uh, recruiting. What is the, uh, the possibility if Zionics? And that would be so nice. It would be very nice. Okay, we're going to take this war slow. We're not going to be focusing on, on these fellas over here. I wonder what they are going to be doing. They have no orders at the moment. Oh, how the heck do you get there? Okay, I guess we'll be having a massive fight over here that will end up killing my fleets. Yeah, look how fast this is going out. It would... Wow, it, it never saw that before, that it actually got its shield and stuff back. Come on, take these guys out. Look, let them deal with this. Actually, I'm thinking we should be able to deal with it. Yeah, we're doing a lot of damage to them. Oh, 7.1 is a bit too much. Let's pull back. I don't know why they started this war. Starting to feel that they are uh, not going to be on the winning side. I don't... What are you doing with your fleets, mate? They're sending in fleets over here. I don't understand this. What are you doing? Are you insane? I might have to reload. Maybe that will trigger, you know, a thought process with the AI. That would be cool. The AI actually doing things that are, well, not insane. Hmm, how are we going to be dealing with this? Yeah, there's not much we can do actually. What we can do is um, get this human unemployed guy to work somewhere else. Like there. Just go over there and just do whatever. Now I'm hoping they will split their fleets. There you go. Go there. And we will meet them up there, right over there. They really need to get their act together because this isn't looking good. We need to push them back. Eventually, um, nutrition and stuff like that is just uh, going to be uh, doing wonders. But not right now. Uh, you are done. Let's get anchoring up there. You are almost ready. And we're preparing for the uh, the new fleet. Um, by the looks of it, we can actually start work on new frigates. Let's put them on aggressive. Ugh, yeah. Okay. Yes, good. Come so on. So, yeah, I'll, I'll probably forget that um, to be cut out. Of course, everyone is, has uh, its thing to do. And yeah, this is just for Arby, right? I know. I know. So apparently we're going to have a visitor quite soon. We're going to take out these guys. They need really... This is just is really worrying me. And there's a time project. So we're actually having a research over there. Who is my closest researcher? I'm thinking you might be doing that. Two, three, four, five. Uh, well, you're not doing anything, so you might as well just go in and research. That's just that. Just that's just great. That's just great. Uh, you generate the plan. So you have unemployment. Such a nice, nice planet. This. So let's start building that one up. Um, amenities is definitely a thing here. Let's get a gene clinic. And get energy up. 
Mm, let's get some more minerals so we can actually get the um, alloy foundries going. Yeah, a lot of construction right now. Who are you, unidentified empire? Oh boy, you're getting raided, aren't you? It's only 4k, so it's not that strong, but where will you go? You're beelining over there, so we want to get our guys over there. We don't want to face that kind of danger just yet. I think that would be a mistake if we were to engage those. Uh, how is the jobs? Still lacking researchers. Hmm... Let's see. Mm, that's okay, this is all going well. Wow, this is a messy episode. I'm sorry for that. It's probably the he Why are you here? Why are you here? This makes no sense. This is that's just look. That's just a good 7k. It's more than enough to take on them together with this fleet. I feel that we might need to pull back. And start help on this end. Let's heal up for a second. Yeah, but that's it for this, guys. Um, we're going to be queuing up the uh, ships. I'm going to do that right now. Just reinforce all. There's going to be a cruiser. The first ship is a cruiser. That's nice. And uh, we're going to be sending it over here. Because I don't trust these guys at all. And once this war is done, it is... Yeah, it's going to be a problem. It is. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'm sorry for the um, the weird language going halfway in through there. Um, but I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.